Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses Remake and welcome back to episode 13 and today we are going to play against Pegasus, yes! Yeah, my controller always in every episode at the start he's like Oh my god, I'm so excited, let's turn around and move in circles! But no problem here, I'm a professional bitch. So, Today we're gonna play against Pegasus and his deck leader is Manga Rioran. Which is pretty cool because he has his new deck leader abilities which are now more useful for his toon monsters, especially his uh, dragon monsters. Because he has the Manga Rioran, he has the py uh, Parrot Dragon and for example, the Parrot Dragon has four stars in tune, so he has 2,500 in tune as a four star monster. Holy shoot, that's a mouthful, right? So I'm pretty excited how this will work today because I lost a lot of time because he just uh, doesn't... He? <laughs> just... He does not... Oh my god, I can't talk anymore. Can we just rewind that? <laughs> okay, let's just start it, okay. So, today, on this map, um, we can see his castle. Like in the original vanilla game, his castle was also seen, but I guess like he had two entrances and this time he has one. So, there's only one way, really linear as always. And yeah, I'm really excited. This is mainly because he has change of heart and this is one of his main strategies and if you just have one way to go through this change of heart can be really hard to counter and you have to be really careful here so that's that so let's start this tool and then we'll see what happens so in the first round i'm gonna set my castle of dark illusions Always a good card for the first rounds. And oh my god, I'm so excited what he will gonna play because he has a lot of trap cards in his new deck. His new deck has just two monsters, you know what I mean? He just has monsters which are useful in tune terrain. And I think I know that this is not like this may not be like in the anime or stuff, but we need strong decks here, okay? And we need strong enemies and that's why his deck or this deck <laughs> focus, uh, is focused on two monsters and everything around it. Okay, we're gonna play Shadow of Spell, uh, Shadow of Spell, Shadow Spell here. <laughs> and we also have to keep in mind that it's Pegasus AI, which means that he can see our cards and yeah that's also something yeah okay he's playing genin genin here <laughs> Jin. what is it called like is it in english called genin i don't know Be because of genie maybe <laughs> we don't know okay um yes zero i could like attack him and then it be like a direct attack, but if this is a trap card, then I'm kinda aft. So I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna combine this, attack him, and even if he has a stronger monster, my chakra will come back. And he even. He doesn't even have a trap card here. That's pretty uncommon for Pegasus here, let's be honest. 550 points for you. Left. Okay, dude. So. Okay, so let's see what he does here. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and he can move two spaces because his deck leader, as I said before, is a dragon type uh, monster. And that is also pretty pretty good because chasing in tune terrain is also something which is not that easy. Okay, um, no, that's not what I wanted to do here. I'm gonna place that in face down mode and maybe if he attacks it, he dies. So. Yeah, and don't be like. Um, 
I can understand if people say, oh, you're always rushing your enemy and stuff like that, but let's be honest here. I build decks where, like, I, I build decks where it's my strategy to go to move forward, to attack the enemy. You know, if I would have a burner deck or something, I would have a different strategy. But I think, is it fun to watch a burner deck? I don't think so. Like, some rounds may want to matches, but like a whole season, I don't know, man. So, it, at least it isn't fun for me. I can't speak for everyone, right? Okay, um, yeah. The question is, is this a monster and can I attack it? Because if I can, he's dead. Okay, no, it's, what was it? Change of heart. Holy moly. Really strong card, we all know that. And I'm glad he didn't use it, like, intelligent. Let's say it intelligent. <laughs> Holy shoot. 3,500. Okay, 50 damage for me, but my chakra comes back. Which is not that useful here, but at least my power-up monster is back. And that is at least something which is not that bad. Okay, now I can power it up a little bit more and move forward. And then he can't attack it anymore. So, let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna move forward here. And I also always have to keep in mind that he can have change of heart, so staying here is not good, but since this is just Castle of Dark Illusions, it won't kill me, but next turn I definitely need to change my spot here. So that's that. <laughs> okay, he's moving away. I really like how this changed, honestly, like the original Pegasus battle was also pretty hard because of different things, like he also has a lot of burner cards and stuff, but here he has everything in one deck. Okay, does that make sense for me? I don't think so right now. So I'm moving forward and since I know that this can be a trap card because I move forward, I can attack him directly and next turn and kill him because he can't, like, he can't do anything here. Yeah, I think that's it for you, Pegasus. You're done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you would play this modification, or whatever you want to call it, with um, a standard or main deck you can a starter deck you're gonna get um, I don't know if that will work it would be really really hard but maybe I'm gonna do a run later but this is a little showcase of like how you can beat them but also not to be too overpowered do you know what I mean so that's that I'm gonna play my that that thing face down, I guess, is a good idea here. Yeah. So, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, go to defense mode. <laughs> oh, Bikuri box. 3,300. Yep. That's that. Okay, I'm gonna move you here, here, then, do I have something, yeah, as a trap hole is maybe not the best option here, but honestly, I don't care, and I can kill him here, so whatever. <laughs> okay, that's that, guys. Pretty cool. Okay, this time it went pretty good, not too fast, and we saw some cards he had, like, as I said before, not too fast. As you see, he has really strong monsters, even or also um, without power up ups or equip cards. <laughs> and yeah, that makes him really dangerous. So that's that. 
I hope we're gonna see us in the next episode. Thank you for comments, for your, all your comments. I love to read them and also love to read your thoughts and yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's that. So that's it for the next one. Take care and bye-bye.